I hope Freddie gets a job. <laughs> Well, he's only one, I so I think we got a t- little wait. But you start to worry about that already. When you have a baby, you're like, oh, gosh. Will he have friends? So I'm a hopeless romantic. I'm such a sucker for love, and the two of you are Did just Did I see so you flashing beautiful. a ring oh, this, to somebody else? I, no, I got, no, I got engaged. Stuff? I just got engaged. Oh, <laughs> congrats. Yay! Um, yeah, and I'm just, I love love, and I love teamwork, and I love husband and wife duos, and the two of you do that so beautifully, and I know you're on tour um, I'd love to hear how that's been going and what shows you have coming up. During the pandemic, we did the Cat and Dave show on Instagram. We did like a, you know, four crazy. <clears throat> well, it wasn't that crazy, but it was just the two of us live on Instagram trying to, you know, entertain some people. But it ended up being really cute and fun, and so we're just going to try and take a version of that on the road. Hopefully, a more polished version. You can go on YouTube and look at some interesting performances yeah. there. <laughs> but um, we were doing our own props. It's like at the point where nobody was seeing anybody. You're really in your own cocoon. So um, it kind of is great because now it's sparked an idea to do a sort of bigger, more realized show between the two of us. And David will always keep doing his big, like, hitman type show. So I that'll like continue. It. Cat and Dave show will continue. Broadway, hopefully, will be a thing by this time next year. And um, there's always lots going on, you know. And we have a new baby. <laughs> so, just casual. Yeah, just casual. Also, happy early Mother's Day. Oh, thank you. Um, thank yeah, you. so a lot going on. But it seems like you guys have so much fun in everything you do. Like, even just chatting with you now. It's like, yeah, we got this, that. We're silly on the pa- yeah. during the pandemic. Shared it on YouTube. Check it out. We try to have fun. It's kind of fun. <laughs> we're, we're always together. Like, always. We are. Yeah. He's yeah. like, he wakes up in the morning. He's like, oh, you again. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's funny. That's funny. that's funny. Do you not think I'm funny? I do think you're funny. Because I'm very funny. You are funny. Okay, good. Yeah. But that's a hostile you know, position you got with your arms That's fine. Crossed. I'm okay with it. <laughs> yeah, because you didn't laugh enough at her joke. No, he's just, sometimes he's like shocked at like my little zingers because he's used to, he's always the one doing the zingers, you know? Everyone's laughing and I'm like, oh, there goes that zinger. I've heard that one before. <laughs> that's what happens when you spend so much time together. You just, you know your jokes, you yeah, know your you partner's know, jokes and you're like, oh, You know right. like a married couple yeah. where the wife, like the, the husband makes a joke and the wife just like, everyone's laughing and she's just in the corner going like this. Because she's heard it a hundred times. Because she's heard it a hundred times, that's me. <laughs> I kind of love that though. I love it. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> we're having we're having fun, and uh, yeah, we're on the road, and we're having fun. Yeah, we love we love being new parents too. On the road as well, little cutie pie. Yeah, well, he's now pretty mobile, so it's a little bit different. Like we we're gonna see what it's like, and then we'll make a decision for the future. <laughs> that's but exactly right. That's exactly what it's like. He was great on the plane yesterday. He was. Yeah, he was great. It was yeah. just all the all the stuff you have to carry around. The schlepping is. Is a whole, well, every parent knows traveling and the schlepping is a thing. But other than that, he's really great. He was good. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. Um, both of you have such beautiful voices, and someone else who has a beautiful voice who no longer Do you think it right he now. has a beautiful voice? Well, she like, was just being know, nice. She I'm was just being kind. kidding. I'm kidding. I'm Canadian, so I like to be kind most of the time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I wanted to talk about you know one of your longtime collaborators, Celine Dion. She's resting her voice right now, mm-hmm. and it got me thinking, like, how important is it as an artist, as a creative, to prioritize your health, but also to prioritize your instrument, both physically and emotionally? Well, Kat, Kat could certainly, as the singer of the two mm-hmm. of us, can speak to that, but I will just say, as a producer, you know, I like to, t- I've always told artists, look, this is a mind, body, and soul thing. It's all three, you gotta eat healthy, you gotta go to the gym, you gotta work out, you got I mean, it's, the voice is a muscle, mm-hmm. and if you abuse it, or don't use it, it's gonna atrophy. And I don't know exactly what her issues are, but you know she's been pounding it out for 40 years. This girl's been pounding yeah, I mean, it out. I think out. she's also been known to really take care of herself, yeah. so I don't know. But, but yeah, I mean, the voice is just like, I don't know why the vocal issues is such a um, sort of... Thing? Yeah, no, it gets so much attention. Like athletes injure themselves all the time. They have surgeries all the time, but sometimes with singers they get they have vocal injuries or they need to rest and people are like, oh, can you believe it? Yeah. They just canceled 10 dates. Um, you know, it's right. just like an athlete sitting out for a season, you know? And, and athletes know. have 10 things that can go wrong. Yeah. I- any one of those 10 can put them out. Singers have one thing. One thing, And if yeah. it goes wrong, they can't work. Yeah. Right. So it's, it's not that, for a singer, it's not that surprising, but I don't know why there's such a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, um, a, a, a stigma? Yeah, I guess. A stigma. Um, yeah. Kat had vocal surgery. She didn't, um, she didn't speak one word for 12 weeks. Yeah. Not a word. But this was like a while, wow. a while ago, yeah. Like four years ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That must have been so hard to just have like a whiteboard. 
I did. Yeah. Yeah. There was an app. It's terrible. It's a terrible yeah. like. I mean, it's a terrible thing to. As a, if you're thinking about in terms of athletes, they have to do, but to not speak is like, yeah, it's kind of a crazy thing. Yeah, and then after 12 weeks, we went to the doctor as the first moment that she could talk. And, she, and you remember what you said? Hi. You went, no, but you went. Hi. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hi. I got it on film. Yeah. <laughs> that must she, have been such an emotional moment. Yeah, just it was. to be like the release of being yeah. able to vocalize. Well, you're just scared something didn't go right, mm -hmm. you know. So. Man. Yeah. But I will say though is that it's just looking at Celine's comments is the community surrounding her is so positive and I, everyone was like feel better focus on your health which I yeah. think is so nice when you do something you love and the people who've been around for so long support you in that endeavor too. Which well, is nice. she's such a positive. Yeah, and she's being. given she's given so much. Yeah, I mean of herself, you know, pounding it out in Vegas for 15 years, you know four shows a week or whatever it is. I mean, she's given a lot. Yeah. She deserves a rest. Yeah, yeah. she does. Um, you guys, I don't think are gonna be resting anytime soon. Cat start on Broadway. Um, came and about you from are like on the brink of having your own Broadway show. Right. Uh, he's doing a big workshop the end of June, no, end May. of May, thank you, uh, for his show Betty Boop that he's been working on as long as I've known him, which is a pretty long time. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're working on something? I like how you just dropped that in. Do you, can we give me a little more? Like, when can we get excited well, for this? Well, I'm happy to talk about it because I have been working on it a long time. It's Betty Boop, the musical. And I've been working for it on like 14 years off and on. And our workshop is this month. And June 3rd. Um, All the big investors are coming. The playback and I mean the presentation. And if it goes well, by this time next year, maybe we'll, we'll be on the Great White Way. Yeah. Will you be involved? No, sadly. Oh. sadly. She'll be in her own show. She'll be doing another <laughs> show by then. No, I'm, I won't be doing this show, but um, I'm so excited for him. So I mean, you kill it on screen, on stage. Um, do you have some projects that you're working on that you can give us a little sneak peek about? Thanks. Um, she said no to a lot of stuff lately because she's a new mom. Mm -hmm. No, I've I, uh, been happy to just be his little sidekick on his shows <laughs> and just be able to, for us all to be together and have the baby with us. So that's been really great. Um, I am working on a jewelry line, so I'm sort of moving oh. into... Um, away from like the performing stuff not that I'm gonna stop performing but I have always had this like secret I mean most women do it's not like a I'm unique to this but an obsession with collecting pieces and jewelry and things like that so I had an opportunity in the last year to keep working uh, to start working on a line um, so where we've been working on that is you're going of, into the real money now <laughs> <laughs> well I don't know it's just I it's just seems like something really fun yeah. that I enjoy so um, maybe I'll be even more of a Businesswoman Ooh. in the next coming years. The thing about Kat selling jewelry is she loves it so much. I mean, she literally plays with her jewelry at night. He's like, like I'll, I'll walk into the bathroom, she's like playing. She's playing <laughs> with it. Because they're shiny and beautiful. Yeah. Like, a little, and, like yeah. a little girl in the in her room, like yeah, playing with her but, dolls and playing But she does like, she does love it so much, and so the the honesty and the trust factor is huge with her. So I think she'll do uh, really well. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. My goal is to be on QVC. That's my goal. I would love to be on QVC and just talk about jewelry. Like just to be on live <laughs> television and sit there and talk about all the things you love and you what, know why you the, love it and what why would the it's pitch great. Be for this necklace. I don't. Which one is it? Um, this gold. Piece? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. This go. is just a staple, solid gold piece that you can pass down uh, from your. This is a classic piece that. All generations will love, older, middle-aged, younger, and um, it's, it's I'm not a piece that's a throwaway. It's it's a solid, great classic. And how much is it? Uh, $39.99. <laughs> great, yeah, can I please place an order for yeah, a dozen? See, this is why <laughs> I'm just so excited to do something like that. I love that you've done so much in your career, but like, Getting on QVC oh, is yeah, like yeah. the thing that must happen. Oh, the ship has sailed. I do not want to like be in movies anymore. I definitely want to be on Broadway again. Movies, television, ugh, maybe. But I'm like, just want to be on QVC. <laughs> I just want to sell jewelry. We can make that talk. happen. My mouth is literally salivating right now <laughs> talking about jewelry. So that's a fun project. Look, I got to go to you. I know the song came out a little while ago, Popstar. But as a Canadian in the Canadian industry, speaking to a Canadian, when so Drake cool, huh? name drops you in a track, it has us all wondering, is there something happening? Will they collaborate? So, um... He, you know, Drake is one of those guys that we're all so proud of him as, as fellow Canadians. He's like a national treasure, like Celine is. Um, <clears throat> and he's one of those guys that respects and loves the history of music, whether it be my kind of music or R&B or whatever. He, he knows the history of music. And I think that's why he's, uh, you know, he's into me, uh, into what I've done. Um, what people don't know about that lyric, or some people don't know is, so the actual lyric is, 
um, lobster. The only one making joints is me and David Foster. Foster yeah. Joints is not weed. It's joints it, is David a slang is, for hits. David is not a weed smoker. That's no. not your thing. Joints is a slang for hits. Hit songs. Did joints. you know that? Well, I figured as much. Oh, okay. Oh, I figured as much, but you know, I still got to go there. I still got to ask. I would like to see it happen. Oh, Our me and Drake. Our team would like to see it. Drake and I. Yes. Yeah. yeah I so mean, cool. it would be. <laughs> it would be, be amazing. Super, it'd be super cool. I mean, I just think he's great. I, yeah. I, I really love his artistry. Yeah. As I love the weekend. As I love Beaver. As I love Sean Mendes. We got a lot of great we Canadians do. right now. We do. Um, well, guys, could speak to both of you all day. Um, but lastly, you have such a, a beautiful family, a beautiful new family as well. Um, Aaron and Sarah, uh, I'm a podcaster, love podcasts. They're doing their thing there. Would the two of you ever go on their podcast? And what do you think you talk about? They kind of talk about it all. They've never asked, asked us. us. What? <laughs> no. Would we? We would. Yeah, of course we would. Yeah. Yeah, they're, 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 we podcast love it. Is I hilarious. listen to their podcast. It's a little bit rough for dad to listen to the podcast because it's like, <laughs> Some of the topics are not exactly like things dad wants to yeah. hear their girls talking about, but I That's love right. it. I totally relate to them and think it's great. Yeah, when they start talking about, oh, I mean, it's okay. some of the stuff is just, just... I won't even tell no, you. No, I don't that. want you to start sweating. No, You no. just think of them as They're funny angels. girls. They've done really well. <laughs> um, all my daughters are successful and doing well, and Sarah and Aaron in particular found a That must a be niche. so great that all your kids are yeah. successful and taking care of themselves. Yes, and it's great. I hope Renny gets a job. <laughs> Well, there's only one, I so I think we got a little weight. But you start to worry about that already. When you have a baby, you're like, oh, gosh. Will he have friends? I Will hope he... they don't live in my house till 25, although I'll be so in love with them. I'll be like, <laughs> honey, you can stay here. <laughs> I mean, I think between the two of you, definitely great role models. I mean, we've got a future jewelry empire that entrepreneur. That is very true. We've got, you've true. done a couple cool things. So, you know, lots of great things for the cutie pie to look up to. Well, you're right. And lastly... Chloe, congratulations yeah. on being engaged. Yeah, congrats. That's yeah. so great. Thank Does you guys. he know you're engaged? Um, <laughs> yes, most days. Some days we're not sure. Though. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching eTalk. Make sure you hit subscribe for more celebrity interviews and entertainment news. And while you're here, why not watch another video? I know you want to.